up YouTube? This is Foxtel Digital coming to you again with Black Girl Stocks. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about how to draw trend lines. So trend lines have become a very popular way to identify possible support and resistance on stock charts. But one question still remains for a lot of traders, new, novice, medium, experienced. How do you actually draw trend lines? So in this video, we're gonna be talking about what trend lines are, why you wanna use them, and also how you can draw them. I briefly talked about it in another video, but this one, this video is gonna be solely for drawing trend lines. It's gonna be very helpful for you in your trading journey. All right, but first, if this is your first time watching this video, please make sure you click that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel. Also make sure that you subscribe and click that notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video for you guys. Drawing trend lines is really an art. It's, it's, it's an art form that may take a little bit of time and energy and effort to master, but once you get it, you got it, okay? like that and honestly a lot of people um, find trend lines in different ways so they may have their own techniques and ways that they do it but in this video I'm just gonna show you techniques that I've learned along my journey that have worked for me so that's all I have to offer you. I mean, what more do you want from me? What more can I give you, okay? Thank you. And as the name suggests, trend lines are levels used in technical analysis that you can actually draw along a trend and connect price points. This trend line is going to help you find different points of support and resistance on your stock charts so that you can gauge what you wanna do in your strategies or how you wanna go about utilizing the stock to gain profit, right? These areas are gonna show you potential areas of increased supply and demand, and that's gonna cause the market to move. So supply and demand is what's going to give you volatility um, in the stock market. And so basically put it like this, if someone was to ask you today, hey, what direction is this stock going in? What would you answer? Like, what would you say? Knowing this answer is crucial to an investor. Why? Well, if you buy a stock in an uptrend, then chances are you're going to gain profit from it. If it's in an uptrend and you bought it at a certain price and it continues to go up, then its value is going to increase. Your profit will increase. You know, it's it's not, you know, this, this is not rocket science, okay? So when you're drawing trend lines on, a, on your stock chart, it's going to help you to visualize the direction that that stock is going in. And also a bonus of that, sometimes the stock prices are gonna break through the trend lines that you draw. That could be an indication of a trend reversal. So that's gonna give you a buy and sell signal. So we're gonna talk about that a little bit later, but the stock price trend is basically referring to the direction that the stock is going in. And so there's gonna be three different directions that the stock trend has. And it'll either be an uptrend, a downtrend, or a sideways consolidation, meaning, I think I said in, a, in another video, it's just kind of going grandma, like it's just not doing too much just chilling just relax then and then also anytime you're looking at charts there's going to be multiple time frames that you're going to be able to look at to gauge that trend also you'll get a stronger trend on a larger time frame so if you're looking at a five-year chart a one-year chart then you're going to see a stronger trend but if you're looking at day charts week charts it's going to give you more noise and what's going on on the, on the intraday it really just depends on what type of investment you're looking to make on this particular stock the way that you can draw trend lines the technique that i use is connecting different price points okay so what you're going to do is you need to connect the highest prices to Together. So the highest point on the chart, it's gonna give you different high points. So if you have a stock that goes up and down, up and down, up and down, those high points, you're gonna connect all of those, okay? And so that's gonna give you your resistance line. And then after that, you're gonna connect the stock's lowest points, okay? So up, down, up, down, you're gonna connect all those, what do they call them, trope? All those low points, all the low swings. You're, gonna, you're going to connect all of those together, okay? And that's gonna make your support. And so if the price breaks 
through, like let's say if it breaks through the resistance line that you have drawn, or if it breaks through the resistance or it breaks through that top, then that could be a sign of higher highs. And so that's, that's a possible buy signal. If that stock price breaks through your resistance points, then that could be a buy signal for you. And on the opposite side, if it breaks through the support, if that price breaks down through that support that you've drawn, then that could be a sign that you need to sell because that means it's going lower. So you wanna get rid of it before you lose more profit. That's one way to look at it. Now that we've gone through, I feel like we've gone through some good basics of trend lines, why they're important, and how you can use them. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. I didn't wanna make this video too long because I need to go to my parents' house. How do you draw trend lines? And more importantly, how do you draw trend lines correctly? So with that being said, so we are here now in Think or Swim, okay? And I'm just going to pick a stock, I think this is the stock we used last time. I use Apple, I know I always use Tesla. So we are going to use the Apple stock. So I always wanna start further out. I like 180 day charts. I don't like to hold my stocks too long, honestly. This is Apple, how far back is it gonna let us go? Okay, this is from March. I may need to do a year. I mean, it's really just one trend up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just use this as an example. So first, how are you gonna wanna draw your trend line? And the first step that you're gonna wanna take is you're gonna wanna connect your highest points, okay? So let's trend line, okay. So this is my time period. And you wanna connect your highest points. So, and this is a high, and this is another high. So connect those, and then you connect your lows, so. Mm. I'm seeing something already with this. Okay. Okay, it was on one year one day. Okay, with drawing your trends, one thing that you're gonna wanna keep in mind is you're gonna want at least two points to touch this line. So right here, I mean this really isn't giving me much, but I have two points that I have connected. This one I could touch a little bit more, but it's fine. So these two points have connected, and as you see here, it looks like this actually broke through support point. So this right here, right where we are, this is actually kind of a perfect example of a possible trend reversal because this is a full, complete uptrend. I mean, we had a few little dips and trips in it, but I mean, this could be a sign of reversal. And you see right here, when we were connecting these before any of this happened, let's just say we connected these. Point. Actually, let me just let me just delete this. So let's just say none of this happened and we're connecting these points. I mean, yeah, it's it's been it's been a downtrend. So right here around this area, this this would have been a good time. When was this? In September, around September 9th, this would have been a good time to jump out of Oh, there's also, there's gonna be multiple trends. So the closer you get, or even the farther you get, there's gonna be multiple trends that you're gonna be able to draw. So, I mean, you see we have this overall uptrend, but then it, it dropped, and we don't know if it's gonna continue to drop or if it's gonna go up again, but considering the way it's looking, it's looking like it's gonna continue to, to drop for a second. I wanna use a different stock. We are looking at a year chart of Starbucks. And so sometimes you'll have different trend lines on the same chart. A quick tip, the more places you have on this chart that touches um, your trend line, then that's gonna show you the strength of the trend. And it's not, it's not always gonna be a perfect science. Connect. Okay, so this trend, I mean, it's still in an uptrend, and even in that uptrend, you had a slight downtrend. So you're gonna have multiple trends in the same, in the same chart, and they may fluctuate 
quickly. So one thing to keep in mind, the longer a chart has been in a trend, the stronger that trend is. And so you, you don't want to you don't want to depend 100% on this support and resistance because any indicator by itself, it's not going to be 100% guarantee. So you'd want to use this trend. You would want to use it with other indicators such as the RSI indicator or the boiling bands um, indicator. I don't think I've talked about that ever, but boiling bands is, is really good. It kind of seems like, honestly, would you even really need to use trend lines with that? That's a topic for another video, but you always wanna use multiple indicators, two, three, guarantee, but to give you more confidence in your decisions. So that is that. So let's just look at a downtrend. This is a little bit closer. So this isn't really a good, good one. So in a downtrend, you're going to want to connect the highs here and so you see how right here the price it looks like it's slightly breaking through that's a sign of an uptrend and it did kind of start to trend up after that so that's one way that you can kind of look how that affected on a downtrend i mean it's kind of small what time frame is this this is from february to about march so right around here when it broke out around what date is this when it broke out right here around april the 6th this would have been a good time to buy into royal because it went from 34 to um, $60? Wow, missed out on that one. Wow. Uh, so yeah, that's an example of how you'd use that on a downtrend and then, you know, the same the same way you'd use it on an uptrend. Connect the lows. I have two points touching here. And then connect your highs. And so you see right here how it kind of broke through our support it's looking like it's kind of going it's in a downtrend so yeah this there's definitely validity to this so you want to use your trend lines with other indicators so you use it right here you see oh look at what that rsi is looking like look at her look at how she boom dropping honey she dropped right here where did she drop all right there look at that rsi mm -mm. and then look at the macd too so there's multiple indicators that you can look at even though like even right here we're right here on the mark so okay let's draw it fresh Let, let's kind of do Let's do one real time. So this is right now, and it's looking like it was a small downtrend. So let's connect our lows. And then let's connect our highs. Let's see. And so from this chart, oh man, okay. So if this, I mean, you see it kind of broke through right here. So it's doing little, little pieces, it's trying but it's still an overall downtrend. If this really breaks above this, and then you also wanna use other support and resistance. So you can draw another line like right here, or you can draw one right here. It's a lot of lines, but yeah, cause you're basing it off of this high over here. What is that, 102 days? Yeah, I mean, once, there's a lot of lines on here, but once it, once it breaks through here, that will be a sign of an uptrend or it could continue on a downtrend because more than likely it may just bounce off of this and continue going down. So this is technical analysis. So then you can do some fundamentals and look at the news. I mean, are people starting to travel more? Are they getting on the cruise? I know I wouldn't get my ass on a cruise right now. Get that, I wouldn't, now I'll go to the beach. I wouldn't mind going to a beach. That's not too much, you know, with everything that's going on, but going on a cruise right now? <laughs> Oh, but sounds like a petri dish of death a mess uh -uh. so but i just feel like that's really the basics of how to draw trends and how i use trends now i think what you really want to remember is you would you want to your price points the high the higher highs and the higher low or the higher highs higher lows or the lows whatever you want it to be touching that at least two times two times is going to be a good sign of a trend 
three times is a complete confirmation. Nothing is for certain. And when it, if it passes through your resistance, that's a possible continuation of the of trend. So that's a, that's a possible buy signal. All the opposite, if it goes through that support, that floor, child, you might need to run. Unless you're trading on the stock falling, doing maybe put options, but oh, and we have started talking about options. So go ahead and check into my option videos, honey, and we can really get into some things. Yes, honey, I think that's pretty much all I have for you today. I'll be going more in depth and we can use trend lines in future videos. Eventually, I really wanna get into live stock trading, but it's a little difficult for me right now because I do currently still have my nine to five, honey. She's still clocking in, honey, clocking in and out. But who knows what the future has in store for us. So I really, really, really wanna do more live stuff to it. But if you guys want live videos, I can bring that to you. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have for this video. I need to, I need to wrap it on up, honey. My parents are waiting for me. They said the pizza's ready, honey. So, you know, she still goes to the parents' house, honey. You can still be grown and hang out with your parents, honey. Don't let them tell you anything, honey. Free meals. I'm just kidding. I love you, mom. <laughs> I love you, dad. Okay, so that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if this is your first time watching the channel or if you gain any type of knowledge, honey, if, I, if this helped you at all, this little mess I was talking about, honey, please make sure you click that thumbs up video. It helps more people see the channel. It helps my channel grow. And it's just, it's better for me, you know? I don't wanna say I get more money, but anyways, thank you guys so much. Thank you so much for your patience, your kind words, comments likes everything subscriptions thank you guys so much for your support the channel is growing so much and i really just want to say thank you guys um, for continuing to support black girl stocks and i will continue to support you also by making these nice videos so thank you help me help you um and so yeah that's all i have for you for this video that's foxtel digital coming to you again with black girl stocks and i'll catch you guys on the next video all right peace